Hi, this is Norman with DieTiki.com, and on my left is the Galaxy Nexus GSM on T-Mobile's network. This is uh, only a single uh, carrier HSPA+, Plus, so it's not DC HSPA+. Plus. So it only gets 21 megabits per second. This one is on AT&T's 4G LTE, and we're doing a simple speed test today. Now, I can do them simultaneous because they're on two different networks and two different uh, frequencies um, 1700 megahertz AWS on the left 1900 megahertz and actually 700 megahertz um, on the LTE and as you can see and this is uh, what I've been noticing here I am in Chicago in near downtown actually um, speed differences aren't even that big uh, T-Mobile is still on a 21, mega, uh, 21 megabits per second um, HSPA Plus network is about, as you can see, if I can get this to focus, just nearly nine, just under nine megabits per second, and just under eight megabits per second on a TNT LTE. But the biggest difference is the upload speed. It totally smashes T-Mobile's, basically almost seven and a half versus two megabits over to the left and there you have it now I do realize that in certain parts of Chicago I have seen um, oh, almost 20 something megabits that's uh, Wi-Fi there but uh, there's 23 megabits right there 27 and look at the upload speeds 8 up on that one and 6.7 on the other one Although on T-Mobile, some of the best speeds I've seen, I can actually see, I've actually seen anywhere between 10 to 11, even on 21 megabits per second network. Now, basically, you just multiply that by 2 if you have a DC HSPA Plus, or roughly 2. I have seen speeds between 16, uh, 10 megabits per second all the way up to 20 megabits per second on the T-Mobile side with the proper... DC HSPA Plus phone. Oh, and one more thing. In case you're wondering what AT&T HSPA Plus speeds are like, I swapped out the uh, SIM card on this G Nexus from the T-Mobile to the same SIM card I was uh, I had on the uh, Galaxy S3, and because this particular phone does not support LTE, we know for a fact that we are now on HSPA Plus. Sorry about the shaky cam there. Just wanted to show you there. And so let's do a speed test now. Yep, that's typical of AT&T. I've seen it as high as about 3 megabits per second. Um, about a few months ago, I was able to get like 5 megabits per second, but uh, it looks like they have slowed down a lot since I uh, last uh, used them. Which was about, yeah, about six months ago, I, I would say. And, of course, we're losing our patience. Just imagine if this test was on edge. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. GuyTechie.com